Hi everybody, back again. As I promised, we're going to put part two on now. I hope you guys enjoyed part one and were understood a few things, but here's part two. We'll make it quick. Let's get into it. Thanks, guys. So I'll just put a I'll, I'll just put a random layer in here. Oops, sorry. I'll put a random surface. Um, new surface. I'll go flat plane surface. Oops. Yeah, that work. Um, control. Actually, I'll just new project. Test. <clears throat> okay. So this is just. I'll just quickly get this done. You won't. You won't ever need to do this, but yeah, it's just when you load a project. So I'm just going to create one from scratch. Actually, this is actually a good idea as well. So say for example, if you ever take the machine home and you want to do a driveway, you can set up like your own, well, that's your own surface. If, if we want to do a drain or something and just take two points and work out the difference, yep. and then set that in, so this is what we need to do. This is what you need to do, okay, yeah. so yeah, cool, yeah. all right. Well, you're, you're filming that, at the moment, aren't you? That's so. actually, that happens quite often. Okay. Right, well, you need to go and put a drain in or do something, or yep. you, you make that pad flat, Yep. Right. you can set your height up, everything, then away you go. Yep, okay. All right, so what I've done is there, I've just created a new project, just called a test, for example. Um, so what I now do is, um, I'll go layers, and I'll go new, oh sorry, not layers, uh, surfaces, new. So you can either have a flat plane surface, a sloping plane surface, right. crown road surface, or triangulated surface from survey, but you don't need to worry about that one too much. Let's do a um, drain for argument's sake, so be sloping plane. Okay, so sloping plane surface. Uh, Give it a name. Um, just call it drain. So sloping plane. All right, so what we do here is, um, so at the moment, your bucket is the um, is the measurement, basically. All right, so what we do is, we hit here. That's gonna give you a measurement from your bucket. All right, and that's that it there. Yep, yep. And then you move that bucket to the end, and then you create whatever grade or whatever direction you want. So yeah, you yeah, add yeah. the grade in this with a percentage. Grade, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you got your A point, uh, your, your A point as well, and your B point. So your A point could be the bottom of the drain, your B point could be the top of the drain, and then the slope, which is your yeah, yeah, main yeah, number yeah. here. Um, and then yeah, you add the cross fall grade if you got a cross fall grade as well. Um, <clears throat> so then, so if if I move the bucket again, I'll, I'll just I'll just move it. Um, I'll just move it here, for example. Yeah. Move it there. So, all right, so I'll hit A. So that's given me another another um, surface. Yep. And B. Oh, you logged that one as A, okay. Yeah, correct, yeah, yeah. yep. So, that's B, direction B, and this. grade, 55, so it's 55%. All um, right, if I move back again, just push those cables. Oh, the cables are up in the air now. Go, and then I'll go um, A. All right, so from there to there is a 7% fall. Oh, yeah, All right, yeah, yeah. so if I hit finish here. All right, showing drain. Okay, active, act, uh, set drain as active surface, yes. All right, so now, this is gonna give you your slope and your bucket there. So, So if I drop down back to level, it's going to say I roughly need to go up. Oh, being on network. So yep, about about 20 centimeters. But then yeah. if I come back in, just give you the yeah. And then it'll, it'll follow that contour of what you've selected. Um, so if I go back here, yeah, back to ground. Back to ground. Then it's going to be yeah, back on the ground. So there. So yeah, you can set. You know, you, you could be 50 meters long, whatever. So you go yeah, to one yeah, section. Yeah, yeah. Can you do yeah, yeah. waypoints in your drain? Sorry? Can you do waypoints? Um, like if your drain comes from A point A to point B at 5% and you go from point B to point C at 2%. Oh, that's pretty can complex you... for me. You probably can. I just haven't played around with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like, and then and then for flat plane surfaces, yeah, like, that's, yeah, that's yeah, pretty that's straightforward. Right. Um, pretty straightforward there as well, so. <clears throat> and when you're done, just delete that file. 
Yeah, when you're done, yeah, I'll just leave that file. Um, so basically, I'll see if I can select this. So anyway, um, so say for example, you're on site and you want to select to a polyline and you want to steer to that polyline. Just say, um, we want to, just, just say for example that this line here is a, um, is a drain and yeah, you just want yeah, to follow yeah. that drain. <clears throat> so what you do is you hold on to it. Um, hang on. Actually, I probably actually do need a proper polyline. I think I will need that, yeah. Yeah, we'll need a proper polyline to do that, which I'll show you. Um, so basically, when you're over a... And you get a lunch bag too. Oh. <laughs> That's got um, tape measure and shit in it too, so. Thank you, sir. No worries. I'm going to ring Liz and say she wants me to go, because you're... How long are you going to be? Oh, it won't be too much longer. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. All right. I'll just tell her she, you're doing the patrol. Yep. No worries, dude. Oh, oh, no. All right. Thank you, sir. No worries. So, to, to, to remove that surface, you just go active, surface, none. None. Yeah. Yep. And then, load up that other project. So, I'll, I'll load up this one and I'll show you with the um, polyline, how you can steer to it and whatnot. Um, so, I'll just delete this one. Hit OK. Alright, so, I'll just... Bring myself over to a polyline. So I'll use this yellow line for example. So just say for example you're sitting over that line yeah. and you want to steer to it. Um, you want the middle of the bucket to be the middle of the trench basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, so hit polyline, steer to, and that will give you, um, <clears throat> that will make it so that your bucket now, steer indication, if you go middle cutting edge, so steer indication, polyline alignment. So say for example you're on that polyline, hit middle cutting edge, okay. And then what I'll do is now, so if you're over it, that polyline will run straight through your bucket, yeah, yeah. if you're directly over it. But here what I can do is, I can display text, your offset to that line. So because you're not in the actual um, design area, it's not going to give you a figure, but as yeah, soon as you yeah, enter the yeah. design area, it's going to tell you that you're so many metres to the left or so many millimetres, depending oh, okay, on how yeah, close yeah, you are. Yeah. Um, go and look for that line, basically. Go yeah. look for that line, and then, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll basically, yeah, you can have it set up like that, or or you can have it so you're offsetting off that line. So, um, again, so you want to select, select that line. Select that line, you go polyline, you can steer to offset. So say for example, if you want to be two meters off it or three yeah, meters yeah, off yeah, it or yeah, whatever, yeah. just steer to offset and then you add, if you're on the left hand, if, if you're going to the left hand side, you're right minus. Oh, left hand, yeah, left hand minus. Yeah, and then right hand side's oh, positive, okay. yeah. So, so just minus, say you're going two meters, that's minus two meters. Or if you're going um, positive, like 500 mil, then it's just 0. 0.5. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Um, and okay, so say for example, you've got a finished surface, but you want to dig 200 mil, uh, two, 200 mil below yeah, for, yeah. For, for like a subgrade or whatever. You can select this number here and set your elevation point. So minus 200, okay. So I'll dig 200 below. Yeah. So that will give you 200 below. So that will give you your realistic value here once you're in the design. Yep. Okay, guys, I hope you learned something there. Okay, I'm going to have part three up very soon. Don't forget to hit the like or subscribe button and we'll see you around soon. Thanks, guys.